Gamma Exposure is a tool that can really help you as a zero DTE trader. This is the SPX chart on the 15 minute time frame for today. The market will be closing shortly, so I decided I'll just hop on and record a quick video. This is the zero DTE Gamma Exposure for today's expiration. This is the archived GEX page on the Quant Trading App platform. This is what the Gamma Exposure looked like 15 minutes in the day, and these were the significant levels that we had. Learning to interpret these levels early in the day can really help create a framework for your trading. Not only is it useful for day traders, but this type of information can lead to some powerful swing trades. These are some positions that I opened yesterday, some of which I shared with the Quant Trading App Discord members here. And these are some 0 DTE and 1 DTE examples of how I use this information to actually put on some swing trades as well as 0 DTE trades. This is the Quant Trading App Discord, just pointing out to you guys how we can use technical analysis like yesterday's breakouts in combination with the gamma exposure to lead to these swing trades, as well as these low risk, high probability zero DTE trades. I think it's important for a trader to not only focus on zero DTE, but to round out your trading style. If you already understand technical analysis and you can read the basics of price action, adding something like gamma exposure can just really increase your edge as a trader. So let's start with today, for example, the market gaps up 15 minutes into the day. This is where I like to let the data settle in and take a look at the gamma exposure. This is 945 Eastern time, 15 minutes after the market opens. This is where the SPX is at. Very easily, we can take a look and see that there is no major negative gamma on this profile. There is no there are no negative bars. There are no red bars. It's all green. This should be your first sign that this is not the type of day that you should even think Think about shorting the market. You want to look for buying the dip opportunities as well as places to trade momentum to the long side. If the market is at 60.45 at this point in time, let's take a look at where is the largest positive gamma strike. In Quant Trading App, we call this P1. It's just saying this is the highest positive gamma strike. This right here would be P2 and this would be P3. So it's just the highest positive gamma, the second highest positive gamma, and the third highest, highest positive gamma strike. Let's plot those levels on our chart to make it even easier to see what's going on here so this will be our 60 50 our 60 60 level let's just make it green for the positive gamma increase the weight so it's a little bit thicker so that's 60 60 that's this level right here we have 60 55 so let's duplicate this and just bring this down right here and then lastly let's duplicate this and we have that 60 85 level up here and the most dominant one, we'll just make this one solid because this was our most strongest and prominent level at the start of the day. I'm going to turn all indicators off. So we're just taking a look at the gamma exposure for the day. Because this is the 15 minute time frame, this right here means this is where this 15 minute candle closed. So right around 60, 75, right around here. This is when you are analyzing the gamma exposure. As we can see, this is the 60, 60 level. Before the market gets to 60, 60, we are aware that this is a key strike. Not only is it a high positive gamma strike, but it is also the absolute gamma strike. These graphs are snapshots or photos, but we can also recreate the graph and take a look at exactly what the gamma exposure profile looked like at that time. As these are interactive, we can see how much absolute gamma is at this level. We can see how much absolute gamma was at each level. If the market is here, we can interpret this as potential support. If the market was to drop into this area, look at it as a mountain. The market has to go here and then it has to overcome all of this absolute gamma before it continues on its way down. That is not a likely scenario. There's three scenarios that can happen once the market reaches here. Either it consolidates for a while, either it goes down or it goes up. Two out of those three scenarios are more likely. The more likely scenarios are that is that it consolidates and it goes up. That is one, two likely scenarios. The third one is the least probable. That is one of the beautiful things of being a day trader with all the tools we have accessible to us. We don't need to try to predict. We don't have to be highly speculative. We can wait to see what happens with price once it gets to these key levels. If you're thinking about shorting, why bother shorting into all of this support? When the market is in a net positive gamma environment, this is green right here. The net gamma exposure for the zero DTE is positive, as well as the net gamma exposure over the next couple months. It is green here, it is green here. All of these bars are green. That is letting you know, do not even think about shorting. 
yet. It does not mean that the market won't go down, but you want to have defined rules for yourself. You want to tell yourself, I will not short unless the market breaks down below this area. This is the likely area of support, which means if the market goes here, you are thinking about two or three scenarios. First one being it consolidates, the second one being it bounces. Now, where do you expect it to bounce to? This is where we have our targets on this side, 6080 and ultimately 6085. Again, this is 15 minutes after the market opens and look at how much information or context we can put around the expectation for price action on the day. At this point in time, when the gamma exposure profile is this clean, you can come up with a rule for yourself like, hey, if the market breaks down below 6050, I will see if any negative gamma bars start to show up and I will form some sort of plan around that. However, I need to understand that I will be shorting into possible support levels as these are still positive gamma nodes. They're not as large as these, but that means maybe it's a day in which I don't even want to consider shorting. So now if I want to be long, where do I want to be long? If this is the target here, there's not enough of a room left on the trade trade. So this is probably not a trade I want to take. The optimal scenario would be that the market drops to this area of very likely support. And this is where I will get long with a stop loss below these high positive gamma nodes. If the market closes on a 15 minute time frame below these levels, I can then take a long trade up towards the high positive gamma nodes on the other side. So this is it here very cleanly on the chart. We can see the market comes down to 6060 and we can see that the buyers are more aggressive here as the market does not even hold within this region for that long. Aggressive buyers are holding price up here and the market rises. Where is the first place that it meets some sort of real resistance? It's at the high of day, which is HOD. That makes sense. Anyone getting long at the LOD, which is the low of day, is going to look to take profit at the high of day. Once that high of day clears, look at the next place in which the market meets some sort of resistance. It is at 60.85. For anyone long down here, up to here, that is a 25 point move on the SPX. That is major. Whether you trade ES futures, whether you trade ES options, whether you buy spy options or just buy equity for that matter, from here to here, that is about a 0.40% return on the SPX in under a few hours. Now, if you create a framework for yourself using the easy levels to spot, this is P1, two and three anything that operates outside of these levels you can say is not part of your plan according to what you saw at the start of the day this is usually an approach that i like to take i don't like to deviate too much from what i see initially in the morning if the gamma exposure is not clean and something i can take a look at and within a few seconds be able to easily identify a do i want to be bullish do i want to be bearish or do I want to be neutral for the day? A gamma exposure profile can help answer that question for you very early in the day. Once the market bounced off of the 6060 level, I decided to enter in this put broken wing butterfly, essentially saying if the market was to be choppy today, I wanted to capitalize off of the time decay. But if the market did bounce, I didn't want any risk to the upside. 6100 was the ultimate target that I was seeing, but that was based on the analysis from yesterday. For those of you with smaller accounts, I also like to trade XSP options. Now this happens to be a swing trade, but as a zero DT trader, this would have been something I would have also done. I would have actually targeted the 6100 level yesterday when the market was still around here i decided to swing this position i've taken profits on any spx positions that expire tomorrow so this is the only thing i have left here that i'm going to let cash settle as we can see the markets bounce off of 6060 i structured this spread with the expectation that the market will hold above this key gamma strike if the market did not hold above this key gamma strike then i would have adjusted my risk profile yesterday this is the cheap broken wing call butterflies so this is 30 minutes left in the trading day i decided to swing this long call broken wing butterfly for 6100 there was enough positive gamma exposure around this level but that was not the only reason there was also context around why i was expecting this this comes from the gamma exposure profile at the start of the week as well as understanding context around what's going on in the markets once the market held above 600 we knew beers would be in serious trouble as that will also be a technical break that can send prices higher now why would i think that this is that technical break right here this is a downtrend that started forming 
last week. On a daily time frame, that would be the bull flag in which I am referencing. As we take a look at it on a daily time frame, it's a little bit easier to see here. This is our bull flag. Using a smaller time frame, we can get a little bit more nuance with our levels, but we can see right here, this is essentially that breakout area on the SPY, which is what I like to use when I'm doing my macro analysis, as well as my analysis when combining multiple gamma exposure expirations. This is that 600 level that the markets just edged above yesterday. So we close right above that 600 level. On top of that, we had last week's point of control on the volume profile for the ES. That's where we held above yesterday. That's where we had the technical breakout right here. Price also held and consolidated, which we can see right here. That was our breakout. This is before the market closed right here. This is that clean breakout at the start of the week using the gamma exposure levels. We can already come up with a plan for the whole week. Then we can use the zero DTE levels to really dial it in and then we can execute depending on the instrument that you like to trade. I've been trading this way for over a couple of years now. And even if you don't use the zero DT gamma exposure, you guys in Quant Trading app know this is my methodology for, for how I approach trading every single week. I've been doing this now for a few years. The chart looks a little chaotic, but I plot these levels every single week. I started leaving them on my chart a few years ago. And and after a while, you just start to see the exact same things. Where is the high positive gamma? Where is the high negative gamma? Where does the market usually bounce? Where is the gamma flip? Where is the market usually choppy? When the market enters positive gamma, even if it pulls back, it generally does not go all the way down to negative gamma. That's why with conviction, once the market enters these positive gamma territories and it starts holding above these key levels and we start seeing these technical patterns, there's confidence around the swing trades, and then there's even more confidence on the zero DTE trades. But the context also matters. Why did the markets decide to gap up today? Why did it push higher intraday? Who is in trouble? Is it bulls or is it bears? Where are our trend lines? Some of the basics and fundamentals of technical analysis is also useful. Your trading decision cannot be just because you see positive gamma or just because you see negative gamma. You want to be a well-rounded trader. You want to be able to combine concepts. If the technical analysis is a 2D perspective of the markets, then gamma exposure is like having a 3D perspective of the market, but you still wanna be able to read what's happening in this two-dimensional perspective. Guys, if this video helped you, leave a comment down below. I know I haven't been that active on YouTube this year. A lot of my old previous gamma exposure videos are still viable today. This is just another example of a video in which I've already showcased over the past couple years with the exact same concept, the exact same plot in the levels on your chart. Those of you in Quant Trading App don't even really need to draw the levels on your chart. As you know, this page right here, the GEX tab on Quant Trading App actually plots the levels on chart. And as you refresh the page, it will automatically update as the new information comes in. So this is the gamma exposure profile as the market is about to close within 15 minutes. Anyway, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.